Para Snowboarding 101. My name is Noah Elliott. Brenna Huckabee. And Zachary Miller. Jamie Blanick. Mike Miner. Keith Gable. Rebecca Johnston. Mike Schultz. Joe Plebin. We currently have three different divisions that we compete in. Snowboard cross is head-to-head -head racing through a course of bumps, jumps, rollers, bank turns. It's exciting, big crashes, high speeds. Banked slalom, um, it's by yourself against time. Any little thing is going to shave time, so the people that wouldn't bank slalom <laughs> seem to be really good snowboarders. Just kidding. We do now have a new event, which is dual bank slalom. It's a kind of a combination of both border cross and bank slalom, where you race head to head against another opponent. There are three classifications. Uh, we have upper limb, which are people who are missing their arms, and that's at any level. And then we have LL1 and LL2, which is split up between leg impairments. And it gets a little hairy because if you're just doing amputee wise, it's people who are above the knee are in LL1, below the knee in LL2. However, we do have people who are full body that have different disabilities. You can have MS, you can have CP. There's lots of neuro and physical uh, disabilities that can go into the classes. It's awesome. I mean, the equipment I use is sick. I mean, everything from my snowboards, which are Austrian custom-made snowboards, that are some of the fastest on the planet. The first person that comes to my mind when I think of para snowboarding equipment is actually a member of our team, Mike Schultz. He's been putting a new spin on the way that prosthetic legs and, and just limbs in general should be looked at. You look everywhere in extreme sports and there are people rocking the VersaFoot, the Moto Knee, and, uh, and just pushing their sports forward. That's what I really love about para snowboarding is um, really brings a sense of empowerment to folks with disabilities. And that your life isn't over because of that disability.